There's no such thing as work-life balance. None! Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. A couple of you say, well, why do you keep saying we're not going to do it, Mr. Pena? Because you're not. You're one of them. I bet my testicles on it. And I'm very close to my testicles. You're not. Why? Because you're afraid. Why? Because you've had piss poor role models. I mean, I would rather have you had a bad role model than no role model. And as the seminar goes on during the week, you'll better under appreciate what I mean. Better you had a bad role model than no role model. Because you have nothing to judge against. At least the bad role model knows I don't want to be like that. And most of you are here because um, you had nourishing mothers. I, I had a Freudian slip earlier with one of the kids today. I said, uh, I didn't use the word nourishing. I, uh, what was the word I used? But nourishing mothers don't get you across the goal line. Right now we're raising a, a little championship bulldog pup. And, uh, the, um, and uh, my wife and I have two different uh, uh, methodologies of raising things. Mine's hard, harsh. Hers is nourishing. My wife wants the dog to love her. I realize dogs are pack animals. I don't want our dogs to love me. I only want them to do what the fuck I tell them to do when I tell them to do it. Otherwise, why have a fucking dog or a cat or, or cats are different. I mean, trying to raise cats is a, that's a whole other subject, which I'm not an expert. Although we've had cats too. We, we raised four or five dogs and three cats together. No problem. If they're raised as little kitties and puppies together. You try to bring in a, a grown cat and, well, I mean, it's fur and scratching.